What is going on guys, QuadMFT here, that loyal commentator who will always be there for you. You guys can always throw a tweet at me, you can always got, go check out my Facebook page, you can always message me on PSN or YouTube. I prefer Twitter, because I'm mainly on Twitter almost all, all the time, all day. It's just something, a way of communicating that I find to be really, really easy and just like right there, always there, I'm always on it. Now today it is Weird Weapon Wednesday, www.youtube.com slash quantumft. That link will be in the description below telling you about my channel. You guys can check out all my other videos. But if you guys don't know, know what www stands for, it's Weird Weapon Wednesday if you guys if that didn't click in your guys' head. But that's actually what it does stand for. And this is going to be a weird gun, of course, by the title Weird Weapon Wednesday. I'm using the uh, the PKP Pechenegg, whatever it's called, the PKP Pechenegg. I think it's that. Do not call on me. Do not say. What, is that really how you pronounce it? Because I honestly have no idea. It could be some weird Brazilian Japanese gun that I have no idea how to pronounce. And I honestly, I really do. I really think it is a weird gun because it's a light machine gun that isn't used the most often. I personally think the most often used light machine is definitely like the MG36 or something like that. And I put a red dot on this PKP Pechenegg. I was going for a different look, a different style of something that's not going to be used a lot, which is definitely the red dot on this gun. And the thing about this commentary, if I sound a little bit tired or sick, it's because I am still, and I had to redo this commentary because the other one got erased off my whole hard drive, and I was really upset because I had it all rendered out. But luckily in my recycle bin, this gameplay was still there. I don't know how it all got deleted, but it's still here, and I'm still bringing it to you guys today. So we're going to be playing the game mode Team Deathmatch, which is probably Probably the most com common uh, game mode you'll see people playing because that's honestly where all the noobs play but that's not the reason I play team deathmatch I play team deathmatch to run around and rush and always be there and not have to play an objective and have my objective to be killing if you guys don't know I'm a pretty pretty decent killer I have a pretty high KD and I focus on being able to rush around and still get kills so I'm using the PKP which is a light machine gun and that's definitely not the best gun to rush with so again that's why it's weird not the best gun to rush with it's a light machine gun and the perks I like to use on light machine guns all the time with every light machine gun are slide a hand for those big reloads that takes like 10 seconds I always use that so I can like do it two times as fast and then the hardline pro or no I'm not using hardline I think I might be using assassin assassin is just an all-around good perk that I find to be totally useful in any situation, especially when you're using an unsuppressed gun. You want to have that on so the UAVs can't see you and so you're not popping up on the radar. And it's just an all-around useful perk. I mean, I highly suggest it to you guys. You, it, it gets rid of EMPs when you're EMP'd. It gets rid of counter UAVs when there's a counter UAV up that the enemy called in. And that's just something that's really good. I mean, normally, other times I'll be rocking a hardline, just because hardline is pretty decent, it, especially with LMGs, when you're not going to be going on those huge, huge, huge streaks. I mean, you do have a lot of ammunition in your clip, because I think most of the time, in almost all the LMGs, you're going to have around 100 rounds, which rounds are bullets, 100 rounds in your clip. The clip is just like a huge box on the underside of your gun. And so... Also, I'm using Stalker Pro. Stalker is just an amazing perk for the LMGs because you don't want to. It, it has such a slow, like pull in to aim, like time. So if you use Stalker, you you can go around corners, not needing to always just hurry quickly aim in. You can always stay aimed in and be right on them and pounce. So another thing is with the kill streaks, I'm using. Predator Attack Helicopter Reaper. That's my main setup kill streaks, but I'd like to start to switch it up a little bit. I mean, I do love running UAV. That's something that I've really found useful, and I definitely go am telling you guys to go use the UAV. The UAV is such a powerful kill streak; it's completely underrated, and I find that to be kind of uh, I, I don't really like how underrated it is because it's such a good kill streak. If you and if you went hardline with the assault package UAV, it's a two kill streak, guys. Think about how easy a two kill streak is, and you don't have to get it all the time. You can just pull it out and it helps it's like 30 seconds to a minute long and it tells you where the other team is just just take that into consideration it tells you where the other team is that's that's the thing that's how you kill people you kill people by knowing where they're at and shooting them but down to the tips with this PKP you're gonna be wanting using it in a long range something that I really wasn't demonstrating the best here but you're gonna want to be using it long range now the good thing about using it long range is so you can stay further away from those guys with the SMGs and shotguns too, they have an over advantage of you. But if you guys saw a little bit ago, they were running around the corner and I kind of clutched it right there, took out like three or four of them, and I thought that was just something to demonstrate how that's not what normally happens. <laughs> that's totally not what normally happens. 
and the reason it's so laggy in this game was the actual lag. I think we had like a Mexican host or something crazy far away from where I live. And see, theater mode, I it was just all it messes up my predators. It, my Reaper, the reason I do so so bad with the Reaper in this game is because it was lagging and it wasn't letting me like shoot in all the other places. I mean, it doesn't show up in theater mode with the Reaper, but it was really happening. Because if you guys don't know, I don't actually record in game, kind of a newbie move, but I always use theater mode just because it's a lot easier than clicking record or constant record. It doesn't fill up my hard drive on my computer, it doesn't always do all that stuff. So another thing with the LMGs is you're not gonna be need to need to reload a lot. So you you don't really need sleight of hand, but I find it to have something that makes it a lot easier on me when I actually do need to reload because I do reload a little bit more than usual people. But you don't need sleight of hand. You can definitely run blind eye or like extreme conditioning. Extreme conditioning is pretty good because when you run with the LMGs, you have 10% less running, and you're actually at an 80% in the SMGs or 100% which puts you at a lot of disadvantage I mean and if you use extreme conditioning it gives you a lot more running time which kind of makes up for it here and there but this gameplay is wrapping down so always with the win guys I'm pretty sure we get the win I mean we were at like 7,000 they were like 4,000 so thanks for watching guys definitely leave a like below to keep me going support this series and share this video with your friends sharing it with your friends is a way you can always get me to get bigger and just help Help the YouTube community out by leaving a like and favor and subscribe to see more videos. I'm out, bros.